Hi everyone, welcome to Eden My Garden. Today I'm going to give you an update of my baby seedling, how they're doing. And it's a beautiful, lovely day. I've taken them out to just get a bit of sun, a bit of wind. So they need that before I transplant them in the garden. Last time we did, uh, maybe, let's see the date, if we have the dates here. Okay, that was the 3rd of March. We did some seedling of lettuces and chilies and cucumber. And they are looking absolutely beautiful. So March, April. So basically it's about seven, seven weeks. And that is looking really good. This is the cucumber. And here, if I move here and look at those beautiful chilies here, how gorgeous they are looking and the lettuce and they need to be transplanted into bigger pots. So I need to do that. This is zucchini and, um, and let's see the date. Oh, that was the, um, the 10th of March. So, and I've transplanted them and they're doing really well. And you could see I put some eggshells in there and it's, it's, it's so lovely, lots of vitamin nitrogen because some of the leaves were turning a bit yellow. So as I put the eggshell, so as I water, it's going to really make it a bit better turning green. So that would help. And here I have some Cu uh, some cucumber lemon and it's beautiful it's it's round it's yellow it looks like a, a lemon but doesn't taste like a lemon it's basically cucumber so that is growing so beautifully and i will put a picture to show you how this look and not only i have vegetables and i have flowers as well i just sprinkle some of the i'm just trying to find the date 17 of march some zinnias and look at that they are growing so nice and i have transplanted some here look they are doing so well so it's not the time to put them outside so it's still a little bit cold outside in the night so i'm going to do them probably in maybe next month in may and here what have i got here i have some tomatoes i need to take them out as well so they they, they are growing really beautiful some are turning yellow but not to worry about that put some eggshell and uh when the the weather is nice so this would go probably end of May I would say because the weather is still very cold outside in the evening chili peppers look at this I mean chili peppers like the warmth seeded them 17th of March and um, look how they're growing really beautifully so I've, I'm going to leave them outside for a couple of hours just to get some sun to harden up because it's not good to just take your seedling from indoor and straight outside they're going to die because it's from warmth to 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 a bit colder temperature so it's better to harden them keep them outside for a week or so just to get them used to the outside temperature so now i'm going to take you to my greenhouse okay this one is brussels sprouts look at those babies beautiful i transplant them and they are growing really beautiful this can go outside this weekend because they are cold they love the cold weather so this will go out so i haven't had a chance to do that but that would go beautiful brussels sprouts and what else can i show you here oh kohlrabi look at this absolutely beautiful and this is going to go out this weekend so i've got fairly a lot here to go out this is coriander look at these little cuties they're going really beautiful this is like we did the winter sewing in the tub we're going to transplant them maybe by next week week after put them in little pots and this seedling went in february 24th of february and this is pak choy and look how lovely they are healthy they're looking green so they are ready to go out this weekend as well so perfect okay guys i'm just going to show you how i transplant my little babies here they are very sweet and tender so we have to be very careful and be very gentle with them 
so like you know we all human we all have you know tender heart we need to care for each other you know the bible said you know there is um, life and death in the power of a tongue so for me you know it's so important how we speak to each other because word can break somebody and um, you know can hurt somebody's feelings so it's good to be very careful what we speak bible said you know quick to hear is slow to speak so be, be you know mindful of what we say to each other we speak with each other with tender loving care because words can break people's feeling emotion can break them for life so as you could see here i'm being so very careful i take a little spoon here this spoon and i just scoop it all out yeah and dig a little hole here and put it in and i just cover it here with a bit of soil here we go i'll do one more yeah so i will encourage you today you know if we've said words to people that's not so encouraging that's hurtful you know best thing to do say i'm sorry i didn't mean what i say please forgive me and i think that's that's a first step we can move forward with each other like these little babies here they need so much tender loving care if i grab it and squeeze it and that's it it won't grow it won't live it will just die that's what words do to us here we go and i've done those one look how pretty and beautiful they are and and don't forget we need to water them give them lots of beautiful water here and watch them grow and that's it and don't forget to subscribe guys to eden and um, press the notification button and put pictures and put comments i like to see your garden and uh, i'm just curious to see what you're planting and god bless you we're praying for you and we'll speak soon bye bye New merchandise is available on our store. Come check it out at www.whatstore.org. That's whatstore.org. What Music School is now open with the best prices on the market. We have online and in-person programs for all ages. Become the player you've always dreamed of. To claim your free lesson, call now on 617-830-1804. That's 617-830-1804. Or email school at whatmusic.org. To know more, visit whatstudios.org slash school or find us on social media at whatmusicschool.